welcome to the Rideshare Driverpreneur Tuesday Night YouTube channel, where we're live right now in Yuma, Arizona, and also Grand Rapids, Michigan. My name is Angelo Darren, your friendly driverpreneur with Ride Local. And tonight for the video is really to have you understand how I've done it in my life, because really what I did is I always liked the idea of me earning income remotely meaning that I could be anywhere in the world and I can sit here and I make income and I can support myself and pay for my expenses. One thing reason is because then I'm not tied. So even if I even live in a certain particular city, I'm not tied to driving and going to different places of work in order to make income. Because I'm not only limited by the people I work with or work for, but I'm also limited uh, by uh, in my distance I can travel. So remotely, I've always been interested in doing, and mainly for the simple fact is that I can be in a basement somewhere uh, and still perform my work in order to produce income. So what I did is I started out doing that, and it's uh, it's been over a progression over years, and I've done that a little bit here and there. And one of the things I wanted to look at is what side hustle work was, what gig work is, and we'll be how to create a side hustle, gig work and remote work for extra income in your city. So you can do it in your city or you could produce some income where you can be remotely and you can really be anywhere. You can be out camping and still performing your work on a daily basis in order to produce the income that you're accustomed to living to. So, and there's also the nice thing about it is that uh, you're not limited by a certain side hustle, a certain gig work or a certain remote. You're limited only by your ability to accept what you accept for the profitability that is given you for the time that you're spending on that particular task. And then give you, right, a, let me uh, show you a definition of it, you know, that's given to you by Wikipedia. So if you look down here on Wikipedia, and what I'm going to do is highlight this area right here, because I think this is all important to understand. And so I highlighted it in a side hustle or a side job. Uh, is also called a you know a side hustle or a side gig. It's an additional job that makes a person takes in additional to their primary job or income that they're producing in order to supplement their income. Now these side jobs may be done out of necessity because some people uh, have past due bills or they just don't have enough money coming in or when one's income from their main job is insufficient to support them or simply out of a desire to earn more income and to uh, provide a better lifestyle. Now working a side job can also informally be called moonlighting. So it's an adjacent to where the regular job is. Now if we look at a side hustle or a gig or something, our employment would be that. I mean, although it straps us where we have to report to a certain particular building or whatever, it is a side hustle, it's a side gig. So really, our whole income level producing month after month is our business and it's what what really everything we bring into it is really provides our business for ourselves and our family now in the modern day side jobs have been gaining a lot of popularity especially uh when the covid 19 virus and the no contact uh, a lot of companies send their people home start doing more remote work and really that's uh, really increased it but they've also found one thing that is kept up with a rising cost of living because nearly a third of those with side jobs require them to stay afloat. Uh, the side jobs required them to stay afloat in 2019. Now, what makes this any difference for some anybody going out and saying, uh, okay, all I have to do is get a bunch of platforms, little side hustles going, and then I just take one after another, one after another. Problem is it's sporadic. So what we try to teach you is we teach you how to create a business where your platform is within your business, your car, all right? And right now, most people, when they have a car, they have a payment, they have insurance, they have everything else associated to the maintenance and so on. And what we consider that do to be a liability. So that's something that's a liability where we have to have cash coming in in order to support that. So we wanna turn that into an asset. And how can we do that? We can use that vehicle as a basis or a platform for a business which in essence will turn it into a, an asset rather than a liability but you go even farther than that by you can turning it into more uh, side jobs or more side hustles that are higher in profitability 
And so it feels like uh, you feel when you have to go out and go do it, you feel like it's okay to do it because of the type of money that earn income you're producing from. Another way we teach it is what's called uh, passive income, because passive income is something that you might do a lot of work today, you know. So you'll do a lot of work today for it, and you might put in, let's say, 30 hours worth of work, and then at the end of it, then it, every every month it's a wheel to produce a certain type of income. Now, as you tweak it and work it and manage it, you increase that wheel. But the whole idea is to create a remote income. Whether that be in your car where you can drive,、uh, and whether, but the whole thing is exposure. So right now, if you take Uber and Lyft drivers, they're limited by the city or the area in which they are. Now they can request to move to a different city, but really, the request takes like two weeks, and it's a process. And so, let's say I was in Michigan, and let's say I wanted to travel, I don't know, to Kentucky, and on the course of traveling to Kentucky, I wanted the ability to produce income. Uh, remotely, now, how can I do that? So that's the thing that we teach you how to do that. So you can work anywhere in the United States or even outside the United States and still produce、uh, passive income, but also produce a side hustle and gig economy. Manage that within a platform of business, and we teach you how to do that and increase your profitability. We don't only give you the tools, but、uh, we also give you the knowledge and experience in order to do just that. I have done that. I've been、uh, well. I've been driving maybe two years, two three years, and in the two to three years, I have tried to perfect it and manage it, and I have done a good job.、Uh, my income level is sustained pretty much by that.、Uh, I have other things that I do do as far as remote work, and we can get into that in a little bit. Income streams that come outside of that, but the car is the nucleus or the platform or the foundation of your business. Now you can do that part or full time because some people say, "Well, I don't want to build a business." But in essence, you are even at ten hours a week, you have a business. So wouldn't you want in that ten hours to maximize the profitability and make the most you can income based on the way you manage it? That's what we show you how to do.、Uh, so it's anything. There's a lot of services and entails with this, and、uh, the sky's the limit. It really is. And I've, I've started building this、uh, two, three years ago. I built a viable income.、Um, I've also—it's、uh, almost like a, a faucet in which I can turn on and off, and I can tweak it here and there in order to produce better results. We teach you all those tools and all those fundamentals in order to do that. But the sky's the limit. The first thing we start out is our referral and social media affiliate. Now, what does that mean? That means that we're an affiliate with a particular company or brand that we believe in and we like. So what we do is we become an affiliate to that, and being an affiliate, we make income. Businesses are looking for leads, they're looking for customers, they're looking for people to spread the word, so to speak, and that's what we do as a free referral and social media affiliate.、Uh, social media can be on the Facebook platform, can be on the Twitter, can be on Instagram and YouTube. Now, one thing that we have done that really、uh, on the ride local, ride local end of it, and why is ride local such an important part of the platform? Is because it pays out 100% fares, it pays out 100% fees on delivery, and it also、uh, the nice thing about it is that、uh, even all your tips, 100%, it pays out weekly. So、uh, Ride Local doesn't keep any of the money. They have the booking fee, which the rider pays for, but、uh, that has nothing to do with the driver. The driver makes the fares or the fees, 100% of it, in order to scale the business. So that increases your money per hour, and I've done that over and over where I drove for Uber and Lyft. And my、uh, there was times I really had a hard time making twenty dollars an hour, and after all my overheads taken out of it, taken into account,、uh, there's not a lot, a lot left for growth or income producing. So what I did is with the ride local,、uh, a couple businesses came together, produced a platform in order for somebody to provide a, a viable income just off that platform, and then to build on it. So part of our roundtable is not only drivers that are on the platform already. But also business people that have、uh, invested in our company. We also have a stranger than I've ever expected in, in a million years. Is we also have riders, people that use the ride local platform on a regular basis. There are some of them that are literally have invested in our company、uh, to help us get the word out.、Uh, we are no debt company, not like Uber and Lyft. We have no debt.、Uh, most of our money is put back into the marketing. Uh, there was a large investment from the companies in order to produce this platform for the drivers, in the lower fares for the riders, as well as lower fees. 
uh, but this is one way where you can kickstart your business by not doing anything really. All you're doing is doing a little bit of sharing. So you do it. Most of us are on social media platforms on a daily basis anyhow. So if we can take something that we believe in and we can tie you with it with our driverpreneur program where we can lock you into some affiliate programs in which is you can make money based on just what you do for those companies. So what you're doing is you're an affiliate for those companies. You're an influencer. And we teach you how to do that in the driverpreneur program. Now we're moving on to the rideshare driving. Uh, and I'll give you an example. That would be your uh, rides where someone wants either a now vehicle or a pre-scheduled one. So that's open in Yuma, Arizona. We're also open in Grand Rapids, Michigan for that. And then we also open the restaurant delivery with the courier delivery. Now the difference is a lot for you people that don't know, restaurant delivery obviously is meals, but then the courier delivery is packages or items that you might pick up from a box store like Lowe's. Uh, some of it is also grocery delivery. And we kind of tied that into our restaurant. So we have pet delivery as well. Now, a lot of people say pet delivery, how is that a big deal? What well, is a big deal? It's a big deal because a lot of us uh, have pets and uh, it's an extension of our family, it is part of our family. And in order for that, we want to make sure that if we have to transport them anywhere, that it's safe and it's affordable and it's fun. So that's what we do with pet delivery. Uh, in some cases, we transport pets just by themselves. And in other cases, you know, back and forth to vets or whatever. But in other cases, we do transport them with, with the owner as well. And that kind of makes it nice here in Yuma, Arizona. And that was really the reason why we first opened the platform was that in Yuma, a lot of the folks here are older in age and they're from the, they come down in the winter. And the problem is that they fly in from into Phoenix because it's a lot cheaper than flying into Yuma. And because they fly in there, they have, let's say they have animals, they don't have nowhere to transport it back to Yuma. Nor when they're in Yuma, do they have uh, the necessary means to take a ride from Yuma to Phoenix. And that's what we do for them. We make it affordable for them, but we're also pet friendly. So we're conducive for you to do that. The other thing is non-medical, which is people are going to, you know, doctor's appointments, uh, uh, checkups and so on like that. And maybe out, uh, uh, what do they call that? Uh, a procedure where you're outpatient procedure, where you're coming in and out. The other one that we opened up with the ride to work became a really big thing. It's growing like leaps and bounds, mainly because a lot of people, when you're coming, uh, the younger they are, they don't have the cars or the means to get a car and the cost that's associated to have it. A lot of them just go back and forth to work and by them taking ride share, uh, it just makes it affordable for them. It's kind of amazes me because after doing some interviews with the riders that do this, come to find out that it's a lot more convenient for them as well. And we do have some that do it five days a week. We have some that's back and forth to work. Obviously, if they get to work and they can find a ride home, we encourage that as well. Uh, if we can make it affordable for them, because we know we're going back and ride to work, you're trying to produce income and then the, the costs associated to the ride. So in some cases, we have corporate partners where the companies paid for the employee's ride. We have that in some of the corporate uh, VIP partners. Uh, but in nine times out of 10, uh, people are forced to you know, pay for their own and they can provide with the lower fares that uh, Ride Local uh, gives them. Uh, they can save a significant amount of money in order to do that. The other thing is our retail cargo items with free samples. What we do is we're always uh, constantly upgrading that. It's where we have items that are free samples from local businesses uh, in order to, to, for the rider to experience it. And then the hopes is that they purchase it after they get out of the ride. The other thing is our cargo items that we do have, uh, things that the riders want have told us that that would be nice to have in our cars. Uh, we also uh, attach that to it. One thing nice about the Ride Local platform is that we have the ability to add, at the end of a ride, to add an expense. So that works kind of good because of toll roads or uh, parking fees or maybe items that we're picking up in a delivery situation, we can add it to the app and then the customer, it goes right to, through their credit card. We also opened up our exterior advertising and it's kind of amazing what kind of response we have for it. But I guess when you're into the restaurant delivery or the local business courier delivery, 
then you have local businesses that are looking to expand their market and provide more leads for themselves. And that's the way our exterior does. It's in the, we try to make it so it's not gaudy because I've seen the ones where cars are literally plastered on with uh, you know signs and stuff. So we limit it to the back windshield. It's a perforated sign. So that means the driver or whoever's in the car can see out of it. It's just that when people look from the outside, they can't necessarily see inside the vehicle. But it's a nice way to get the word out. There's a lot of exposure to it. And uh, that's one of the things that we started with the exterior. It's as low as $99 a month for uh, a restaurant or a local business, but it's all based on uh, exposure and the amount of hours are driven on a weekly basis. We also have opened up the interior advertising since we have a captive audience inside the car. Why don't we go ahead and maximize our profitability by offering things that are needed, and then uh, we're offering a service to them. We do that in the form of tablets or iPads, where we do advertising for local businesses, or we do advertising for our own uh, platform. Uh, the other thing is handouts. There's also on our tablets, so we do have free apps that we download on it, which gives a the rider ability to see the weather as well as their, their trip and also uh, uh, to make sure that it's uh, recorded at the time that they're in there. So that's kind of a light, a nice feature. We also had the recording inside from the driver's side, which is a cam that provides outside uh, exposure video and as well as inside the vehicle to provide a safe ride and uh, a secure one. Uh, all vehicles are uh, actually posted that they are video that they are in audio and video and that way before any rider gets in the car is posted I'll let you know uh, even though we work that we live in an environment where video and uh, you don't need consent because a lot of things like you go in a bank you don't give consent so a lot of areas in our world today you don't necessarily have to give consent in order to have a videotape the other thing that we've done is our remote business service big deal a real huge deal uh, you have to understand when I first started this and I came up with the idea of the driverpreneur uh, I interviewed a lot of drivers and I wanted to find out exactly okay where they're at on their driving uh, obviously a lot of them are doing Uber and Lyft and they're doing some of the delivery platforms like Instacart and uh, places like that the problem in a lot of these places is that they pay out they take too much from the driver uh, and so it affects not only the driver, but it also affects the rider as far as having higher fares. Uh, we don't have those type of situations because 100% fares and fees is all passed on to the driver. And then also the cost, uh, the low cost in which we operate is passed on to the rider in the form of lower fares. Uh, our remote business has to deal with something outside of the driving platform. Uh, what we try to do is we do a, we try to give you a questionnaire and what we're trying to find out we're trying to get down to what your past history is because a lot of times that's going to match to your um, ability on what you, you're good at and what you like to do and what you can do so anything as you have done where you went to a brick and mortar to uh, clock in for a position there's a lot of ways that we can show you how to take that and no take that the, the services that you provide or the talents that you have and take that and turn that into a remote business where you can provide those same services to maybe a local company or a company within within the platform of an internet in which way you can earn that additional income. Especially after this COVID-19 virus scale with no contact, a lot of businesses, and I talked to a lot of businesses, but a lot of them started the remote in order to survive. So they did the remote but then after looking at it, they looked back and they looked at their P&Ls, their profit and loss statements, and they're realizing that their profitability is higher than what it was when they were uh, everybody was reporting to the brick and mortar. I literally had a company that I talked to, a big company in Grand Rapids, Michigan, and they had three locations, but I was talking to them and they said that right prior to it, they were growing so much that they, decide, they were deciding to, they were wondering how can they expand they were limited on additional property and they didn't know how they were going to expand, but that's what they felt they had to do in order to grow. After this happened, they looked back at it and then with their financial the accountant and so on, they determined that the best way to do business to move forward is to have more remote than they ever did prior to. 
So really companies are starting to go remote. So that remote business is opening up. Thing is, is you have to be positioned enough to provide the services, get maximum amount of, of income from it. That way it's worth your time. Uh, one thing nice about remote work is based a lot of it on performance. And I'll give you an example. If I report to an office and I go to a water cooler, or if I go and take a break and talk to somebody, those times I'm being paid for if I'm an hourly employee, but those times are not beneficial for the company itself. It's a cost, it's an overhead liability. So in order to change that, companies are realizing that they can uh, tie the performance to it and then ha have lower the cost and then maybe increase their efficiency. And so it's a win-win situation, not only for the individual who wants to go remote, but also for the company that wants to put their people on remote, provide uh, services to their customers through people uh, on the remote. Because a lot of us don't know. I talk to people in the morning. I have a remote business in the morning. I get up at 4, at 4.30. I think it's 4.30 to 7. I, I take phone calls. Uh, and I also do scheduling. I do a lot of back behind the scenes as far as uh, sales and marketing and social experience. I do affiliate marketing. So I do all those first thing in the morning. And then after that, that's when my uh, driving of my car, the platform of my car, that's when I open it up. So I open it up. I don't do it every day. Uh, I know how much I can make. I know when to work and when not to. I, I kind of keep a steady, in, uh, steady work schedule. And the reason being is because people, that's how people work. If I want to provide a bunch of ride to work people, there's no way I can drive early in the morning and then uh, the next day drive in the afternoon. My important thing would be to drive for the ride to work to get them to work and then maybe work on ride to work in the afternoon to pick people up. So those are the things, but I would fine tooth comb that as a driverpreneur and that's what I've done in order to maximize it. Now, do I stop? Do I say to myself, okay, I've done it all I've done, and I haven't, but I have, do I say to myself, okay, I've done enough. I don't need to go any further. No, I'm always looking to maximize my profitability providing a better experience for my customers because really the people that get into my car and the customers that I talk to over the phone, right? Dealing with scheduling and stuff like that with other companies. Those are the customers I want to wow. Because if I can wow each one of them and then wow doesn't have to be a big thing. That doesn't mean a circus has got to come into town. Sometimes wowing somebody is just asking the right questions so they know you care a little bit more than the next guy. And that's really what it's about. We teach you all that through the driver and someone says, well, I'm not very good talking with people. Well, you might not be, but it's a learned skill. It's not something you're born with. And there are skills that you do have that you have done that we can teach you how to take those skills that you've done, turn them into a remote business, and also uh, get a viable business. So all of it, is it all of it based on your remote business? Of course not. Not all of it is, but it's an additional to my total structure of my business. And the whole idea is to produce an income with less effort and then maybe an exit plan down the road. Because what happens if you're uh, driving your car, something happens or you get to a certain age or whatever happens that stops you from doing that, how do you exit? How do you get out of that? You don't become in the same position you did when you met Driverpreneur Program because that'd be like starting over. No, we teach you how to transition into that because part of it is only now. The rest of it is tomorrow. The rest of it is in the future and to set yourself up for success. So the worst thing anybody can have is have a devastation of financial crisis. Now, a lot of people have experienced that through this uh, no contact and what we experience, our country experienced this year. We've already experienced it. There's gonna be a lot of people in financial straits. 43% of the businesses have gone out of businesses. So that's affected them. How many people have lost jobs? How many people are on unemployment? How many people are really struggling to make it end it? Some people have no clue what they're gonna to do tomorrow. How am I gonna support my family? That's where you can tune into Driverpreneur Program. That's what we're here about. It's about touching people's lives. I always believe that Zig Ziglar always told me when I was younger, he always said, if you can help another, other people become successful, you can help other people then just the course of helping other people you are actually going to become yourself it's almost like paying it forward and waiting for it to come so it's, i know it's a backward thinking because most of us want instant gratification we want first the money and then we want the work after but it doesn't work that way this isn't an easy get quick thing 
It's not. It's taken me, like I say, a total of two to three years in order to build the platform I'm building. I'm constantly uh, revamping it. I'm constantly improving it. And we're constantly coming up with different av avenues where people can make an additional income. So if you're just into 10 hours a week, and you just, or even less than that, five hours a week, and you just want to work, work to make additional income, come to the Driverpreneur Program, um, and then we can help you do that. Another thing that we've added is our local business delivery sign-up because obviously our delivery requires restaurants. So how do we do that is um, we're big into quadrants. So I always believe the better service we can provide somebody would be making it into smaller segments. How can I do that? I can make them into quadrants. And by that, I, I'll give an example. It could be the north east, northeast side of Grand Rapids. Even though it's a larger area, it could be grouped up into people, quadrants in which where people live. Because the most important thing is if I'm a rider and I request a ride, I want to ride now. The perfect thing is to have somebody that lives in my area or my community, right? Because I'm keeping, I'm not only keeping it in the city, I'm keeping the money on the city, but I'm keeping it within my community as well, like the Northeast side. Uh, it's possible to have more than one rider where they're handling the Northeast side because the amount of requests that are made in that area because based on the population. But that's what we do. We'd set up segments of quadrants. And then on that side, we would get what we consider VIP partners. And we'd have we'd sign up restaurants. When we sign them up, uh, the rider or the driver would get a, uh, an income based on the spending or the drives that are happening within that restaurant. The delivery ride that's how we do it so the whole idea is for us to have uh, three major restaurants within a particular area and then those are the restaurants that majority of our delivery comes from because they're partners they have partnered with us and that's our what we really concentrate on so it works because we're in that you're in that community so if you're in the northeast end it'd be a perfect scenario where the riders came from your area also your deliveries, because it's a known fact, most people order delivery well, within 10 miles from the location, and I've heard as much as 25. But I think 10, 15 miles is probably the perfect, because that way the customer can get a hot food hot, cold food cold. Uh, we also are working with a company called Otterbox, and I think everybody's heard of that. They have a company called Livery, which they are they are actually the future of technology when it comes to to-go containers. And I'm not talking only the ones for the restaurants that they get, put the food in, but also the container from which a driver would store it before they get to the delivery address. And that way we can maintain the quality of the food that's prepared at the standard the restaurant has always been known for. So we can keep food hot and food cold uh, based on the type of food it is and so on. But these boxes fit in the back seat of a car. I mean, they're not they're not real huge, but they're big enough to uh, provide delivery uh, orders and then to keep the, the cold drinks cold and the hot food hot. But anyhow, we look into that in the future. I did put a video out on it that explained it a little bit. I'm gonna be doing a video review on YouTube based on the delivery box. And that way you'll get a better understanding of the functionality, how it works and uh, how well it really performs. All right, uh, so on your social media, don't forget uh, you got the Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Obviously we have the TikTok and that's a big platform that we've been using as well. So the uh, big thing about it is right now uh, we're offering a, kind of a, our way of bringing clean air to life to people. And it's a bottle of Green Co2 air and surface disinfectant. Now it's, it's not very big, it's a small bottle, but the bottle is designed to clean and disinfect either the air in which you're at, it, whether that be in a home or your car, or on, on touch points like door handles or maybe a, a seat belt straps or any type of touch points you might have in your car or touch points in your house. Now, it's a, it's a sample bottle, it's a four ounce bottle. They sell it on uh, the GreenCo2 website. That's www.greenco2.org. And they sell it in three bottle quantities. Uh, this is a one bottle. It's free to you whatsoever. Uh, we don't charge you anything. Even the shipping will be free. So we'll get that bottle into your hands, give you something. It's our way of bringing clean air to your life. 
and then uh, having you try it out as well. It's the best thing I've ever tried. It's the best thing that's on the market, and it's not only for me. It's uh, so we're going to put it in your hands for free, and then give it a shot and, and give us, you know, if you want to give us feedback, that'd be great. If you want to comment back how how you liked it, that'd be even better. Now, in order to get that free bottle, and Green Coat Two is going to provide the bottle, and they're going to uh, flip the bill for the shipping. But in order for that to happen, we're asking you to subscribe and comment below on our YouTube channel. And the comment would be, how could extra weekly income improve your life? And then attach your email to it so we can contact you for your uh, address to get it shipped to. So if you can do that, remember to go on our YouTube channel, subscribe and comment below, and how could an extra weekly income from, uh, improve your life? That could be on a small basis or that could be on a large. And really what I'm trying to ask is what your why is. You know, do you need uh, maybe that $50 a week, a week in order to take your wife out to a nice dinner? Uh, or maybe you need to save money in order for a vacation to take the kids camping. Whatever that why is, it could be small, it could be huge. But even the small ones I find are huge for anybody. So anyhow, that's something you could. So if you subscribe and comment below, put your email in the comment and we'll go ahead and get that right out to you. Uh, now, supplies are limited on it, so I mean, uh, get as soon as you can get in it, better you can solidify that you'll get the bottle of uh, air freshener for your touch points and in the air. All right, moving on, uh, big thing about it is to start your road to financial freedom and independence, and how do you do that? I mean, how do I take action? Okay, I think about things, I think about what I want to do, but how do I literally take action to get myself into that direction? Now, the main thing is if you just stick here a little bit uh, with me, because this is the nuts and bolts of how you start things. We have started on a platform that's gonna be easy for you to start your business, to start earning income right away. Now, how do you do that? Well, if you're in any area, you have the ability to be an affiliate marketer for in a referral and social media marketer for Ride Local. Our actions and your your actions, my actions, the decisions that I make today will shape the way you and I will be living in the future. And that's just the way it is. So how our actions that we make today, and I know some people think and they're afraid to do things because they're afraid of the unknown, but what do you got to lose? If you can try it out, and that's what I ask, there's no cost to you whatsoever. And all you have to do is sign up. Once you sign up, and then uh, there's no cost to you. So the only thing that you have to do to initially start and spearhead your business, and this is just the tip and the start of it. This is just to get your onboarding started and start to think in terms of uh, building a business. Now we don't leave you. We're very transparent and we don't leave you. Once you sign up, we wanna work one-on-one -on -one with you and find out exactly what your needs are. So let's say it's just an extra $50 a week for income. We'll steer you, we'll set up a program for you to show you how to do that. And then you can tweak it and you can do things with you uh, by maybe having that, maybe initially it comes from one source and then over a course of time, your money's coming from a multiple. So we can show you how to do that. But the first thing you have to do is you have to jump out there. You really have to, you have to get out there and you have to do something. So we made it very easy for you to do, and it's very easy as earning as a referral social media affiliate with Ride Local. You download the Ride Local Rider app, and you share, for, there's a hamburger menu, like with a profile and everything on it, it has your wallet. You don't even have to use the app. You don't have to take a ride or anything. You don't have to take a delivery. You don't have to use it if you want to. You get up to $10 on your first ride, just so you can experience it. Or if you want to do a delivery, your first delivery is free as well. So if you download the app and then you send it, you go into the promo section, you click on the promo section and have it go over to, uh, have it go over to your invite promo, you'll see a drop down where you can hit to invite people and then it'll go into an email where you can either do it through a text message or you can do it through an email. Now, another way you can do it is you can take that invite code and you can also share it on social medias. So uh, like Facebook and Twitter and uh, Instagram and TikTok. Uh, some of you that uh, you know are a little bit ambitious and so on, you can also provide a short video based on your experience or based on uh, the advantages people would have starting to come with a driverpreneur program. 
it's a free program. We don't charge anybody on it. When you get onto the Ride Local and you download the Rider app, there's no cost associated whatsoever. Matter of fact, there's no cost if you become a driverpreneur. Now, either way you do it, we will reach out to you and uh, help you build your business. And we can start out really simple from something like that and just let the wheel turn and let the income start to produce. Most people start out this way and then we bridge them into and we set up a plan based on what their why is and what their needs are. All right, another thing moving on is uh, if the easiest way to download that app is uh, right here on a QR code. We have these on our website. We have it for the driver. We have it for the rider. We prefer the driver to live because they have to be approved. We do a background check. So there's no cost to it. And there's a setup time which there's no cost to that. We do a one-on-one -on -one either right now, we're doing a one-on-ones uh, through Zoom. So we're doing private meetings in order to meet our drivers. Uh, so if you wanted to sign up for a driverpreneur, you can do it on the website, which is www.ridelocalgr.com and just click on becoming a driverpreneur. When you click on that, there'll be a little form to fill out, nothing big, just giving us to get, get to know you a little bit. Once you fill that out, we'll contact you and we'll get the ball rolling from that point. But after you fill it out, you'll also have the ability to do a background check, you file for that, and then you send us a copy of your driver's license and a copy of your registration of the vehicle uh, through email. You can do that at support at ridelocalgr.com. Once you do that, we'll do the background check, takes three to five days. After the background check comes back, we'll notify you of the conclusion of it and we'll get you on a start path to start making additional income. Now you can do it two ways. You can do it as a driverpreneur or you can do it as a, a writer app. So that's entirely up to you. For those that don't want any more than that, they just want to um, generate a little additional income, the affiliate way is to go because you can generate a substantial amount of income not only today but also into the future. So if you need the one hour -on counseling about it, we provide that as well. Uh, that's one thing about Ride Local that we're big about being transparent and also being a, t a 20, you know, a phone call away. So we do provide 24/7 live support, but we also do one-on-one -on -one counseling uh, as you s sign up to the program. If you have any questions, please do. I hope I covered everything, and it really, it's about setting up that platform and starting to create business income streams within your driving your car, turning your car from an asset to a liability, but then the same token also providing some remote income so that you can build something that's sustain, sustainable in the future. So even up to the time through your retirement, if that's what you choose to do. Hey, anyway, nice. I'm glad everybody showed up tonight. Uh, I really had a good time. There's a lot of good information here. Obviously, if you have any comments, do that, but don't forget to subscribe. So just subscribe below and then, then add in the comments what an extra income would really do for you in your life. And then don't forget to put your email as well, but make sure that you subscribe. You can hit the notification bell. If you do that, we'll actually notify you immediately as we bring new content in. Most of our content from now into the future is gonna be based on different certain marketing segments. Uh, and just look out for the content. I think it's gonna be valuable whether you really uh, are a driverpreneur or not.